Welcome to Real Issues Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. Now, a report came out that Gabe Vincent is expected to draw interest in free agency this summer. And the report also said that a backup point guard with defensive tenacity and some tough shot making prowess, Vincent should attract interest as an unrestricted free agent this summer, especially now that he's shown what he's capable of when he's given starter minutes. Now, Miami is in a bit of a bind, too, with Max Schuess similarly headed to unrestricted free agency this offseason. It will be interesting to see who the Miami Heat are more willing to keep. Now, my thing to you guys is who would you guys rather keep on this Miami Heat team, Gabe Vincent or Max Struess? So let's start off with Max Struess. I think that Max Struess, solid shooter. I think that he's definitely improved his overall game, you know, compared to Duncan Robinson. He took Duncan Robinson's starting role. I think that he's expanded his game. He's taking the ball to the rack. He's adding floaters to his game. I think he's also improved on defense, you know, tr- uh, tremendously compared to Duncan Robinson. So I will say I do like Max Schuster's game. However, you know, when he's in a slump, man, you're definitely going to feel that slump. This season for the Miami Heat, he's played 46 games. He's averaging 12.6 points. He's shooting 39.5% from the field, 3.7 rebounds, and 2.2 assists. I will say for Max Strews and Gabe Vincent, I think that the Miami Heat slightly did a disservice to them because I think that last season, that was kind of a lucky season, like an anomaly. I think they played way out of their talent. You know, they, and that's one thing about the Miami Heat, you know, Eric Spolstra and this Miami Heat team. They're going to squeeze every ounce of talent out of you. And I'm not saying that the that these guys aren't talented players. However, they're undrafted guys. They all have a ceiling. And I think we're starting to see their ceiling this season. So I think that going into free agency, of course, they're going to look for their money. You know, but I don't I think we should trade them both. We can't let them walk. You know, I think that if the Miami Heat don't give them a deal that they're going to want, which I'm assuming there's a bunch of teams that are willing to pay these guys at least maybe a little bit more than Miami to get him out of here. I think that we should just either do a sign and trade or trade him at this deadline because don't get me wrong. I like both of them. I think that gave Vincent as well. He stepped up last season. You know, he's showing that he's a great defensive point guard. He has a, a solid three point shot. Even him, sometimes he gets into a rut where he misses a lot of his shots, but he is a smaller guard, you know, and I just think that this Miami Heat team, you know, we lack rebounding, we lack size, we lack perimeter defenders. You know, we can't have all these undrafted guys on our team. You know, we need guys that are athletes, talented, like we need more talent on this team. And I'm not saying that we can't have undrafted guys, but our whole roster cannot be made out of undrafted guys. And I think that Max Strews, Duncan Robinson, Gabe Vincent, their story is great about how they made it to the NBA, how they got these contracts. But I think that it's time for the Miami Heat to move on from these guys. You know, it's time for the Miami Heat to have real talent around Bam Adebayo so that he's not having to kill himself on offense and defense. Same thing with Jimmy Butler. You know, so I just think that I like Max Strews. I like Gabe Vincent, but if we can't get a friendly deal or a cheap deal for these guys, sign and trade them, get them out of here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should we keep Max Strews? Should we uh, keep someone like Gabe Vincent? Because this report's right. I know for a fact that there's other NBA teams that are definitely watching to see, and they're probably going to offer them, you know, maybe not a huge bag, but maybe more than the Miami Heat is willing to pay. You know, we don't want another Duncan Robinson project. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.